<laughs> Look, I take a break here every day. You can pitch me tomorrow. I'll pitch your face off. Well, I certainly can't refuse peppermint mocha frappe lattes. Your treat. With almond milk, a dash of nutmeg, and extra whip. <laughs> you sound like a stalker. Shut up. Prepare your pitch, but need to give you fair warning. It doesn't have a killer angle. It's probably going to be rejected. Oh, that won't stop me. I thrive on rejection. Never take no for an answer. No means try harder and harder until you collapse under the weight of pity and free coffee. Okay. <laughs> well, you either got your first feature or your first restraining order. Do you want to profile as next month's yogapreneur? Yes, please. Now I'm free. Now I'm free. Now the idiot boss is me. Now I'm free. And that is how I devised the Mighty Aphrodite Yoga Self-Defense System. Aren't you just training women to distrust every man but you? Well, when you put it that way... Just so you know, my only angle makes you sound like you belong in skeezy yogini magazine -y. Adorable. What are you talking about? Well... See, hot yoga makes their body sweat, but cold yoga makes their nipples erect. I call it downward doggy style because I base all of my poses loosely on the Kama Sutra. Because what's the point of flexibility if you don't match it with stamina? Now for conditioning, I like to throw in a little Pilates. That's why they call me Open Leg Rockstar. Wow! Oh, sorry buddy, good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, too far. You know, it's not my job to make them feel good about themselves. It's my job to make them look good naked, and then they feel good about themselves. I have two pages of quotes where you sound like the mayor of Dushington, DC. So, that's how I talk. Sure, but in print? Ever notice how you can't be sarcastic in a text message? Oh, like when I call you sex pants? More like when you called my mom sex pants. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You mean serious people are gonna read this? And they're gonna think I'm a monster. Oh, a woman-hating monster, like Lindsay Lohan. She'd argue any press is good press. Well, no, but no one will hire me again. I I'll be out of work. I'll be ruined. I'll become a welfare queen. You have to fix this. It's midnight. Have you got a better angle? Because I need something impressive. No, uh, no but, but I could change. Yeah, you can, you can transform me from a foul-mouthed ruffian to a proper socialite. You know, like Clueless. Mr. Diwali gets a 9 a.m. mocha. You don't have time to come out of your misogynist cocoon. But this is your chance. Make me into the man I'm meant to be. We went over this in high school. I'm not going to sleep with you. No, I mean, be my sensitivity sensei. That's your angle. My manhood was reconfirmed last night. Do you want to know what I do when I have yoga block? Release your sexual energy, tapping into your creative and intellectual juices. <laughs> she uses that line a lot. I thought I was special. You have one night to save me and this piece. Mark, I'm too tired for a training montage. Teach me, Ms. Miyagi. Well, I used to think I was a man. Well, now I see. A different plan with thinking so that I can be more secure in my identity. And I tell you, my path to womanhood it's not that long, it's not that good. I didn't alter my anatomy, though I do sit down when I pee. Well, God stuck me in this mess and left me. Without my breast, compromising my sexuality But leaving me alone long enough to see That down there, between my legs It isn't a pole, it isn't a pig It's the home of my ovaries And I took it back in eventually It's my inside out vagina My inside out vagina My home sweet Carolina My inside out my inside out vagina My inside out vagina My inside out vagina My inside out vagina Congratulations, you just went 30 seconds without looking at her cleavage My inside out vagina My inside out vagina
Don't leave me, Justin Bieber. Bieber like? Justin Timberlake? That's my age appropriate fantasy. Sure. And I went to grad school for the career possibilities. 10 a.m. Mr. Diwali, I missed him. I'm ruined. Morning, sunshine. Mark, why didn't you wake me? I missed Diwali and you know I'm a drooler. Relax. I knew after you helped me last night you need some beauty sleep, and I got you a bacon and sausage cheesy chorizo breakfast burrito. My favorite. But what about Diwali? Not to worry, I took the liberty of swinging by his office and delivering a peppermint mocha frappe latte and a certificate to my new free Kundalini Synergy workshop. You can pitch him from the safety and comfort of our own office. Mark, I could kiss you, but I know where you've been. Double breakfast! This is gonna be the best day ever. Now I'm free. Now I'm free. Now the idiot boss is me. No insurance or vacation days. Possibilities, a small price to pay for. A life of creativity.